The following video is not endorsed by Niantic, Game Freak, The Pokemon Company, nor Nintendo. Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. This just in yesterday, Niantic has announced a sleeping Snorlax event. It started yesterday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and ends Monday, June 3rd, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Snorlax will be awake after it's caught, so be sure to take a picture of Snorlax while it's sleeping before you catch it. In other Pokemon news, the Pokemon Company has announced a lot. First is a game that tracks your sleep while you are sleeping called Pokemon Sleep, which is set to release in 2020. Pokemon Home, which will allow you to transfer your Pokemon from your 3DS games to your Switch tiles, as well as trade Pokemon anytime, including in Pokemon Go, is set for an early 2020 release. A new device called the Pokemon Go Plus Plus will track your sleep. It can also be synced to your smart Phone. There will also be a port of Detective Pikachu coming to the Nintendo Switch, which is the last of the news announced from the conference by the Pokemon Company. And lastly, there are new raid bosses in Pokemon Go, including the forms of Burmy, the Sand Cloak, the Plant Cloak, and the Trash Cloak are all level 1 raid bosses in addition to a slew of new raid bosses as well in addition to Cresselia as the new level 5 raid boss. One more thing, episode 35 of my play series should be out later this week. I will cover S the Sleeping Snorlax, June Community Day, and any other events that come into Pokemon Go in the next episode. I will also do a review of my new pair of Choco Sandals that replaced my first two I had. My last pair were damaged, so be sure to look out for a review of my brand new pair of these beloved sandals of mine. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!